Hello and welcome back to Full Throttle. I'm going to try and get this finished today. Um, I hope. This bit tends to confuse me, so I might get stuck here. Those weapons were out of weight. Uh, what? Okay, I'll lick the panel. <laughs> hey, open up. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. <laughs> Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. <laughs> I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. <laughs> Down here, anything else? your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official. All right. Let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no <laughs> yucks, compadre. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. We well, got your t shirts here. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the battery. Uh. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy bit. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are the lights down here? We well, got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail. Completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? <laughs> I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. Eh, no, but they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. My walls. <coughs> my bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here, even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very special. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Probably some sort of packing material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Looky here, nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? <clears throat> Just clearing my throat. That's what I was doing. Uh, you, big fella, come give our derby car a spin. It's out of juice. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. But, all right, let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Uh... Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Uh -huh. Well, 
100% cotton. Oh. Um, that's too bad. <laughs> I'm allergic <laughs> to cotton. Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. Alright, I, I remember, kind of remember this bit. Ugh. <laughs> if we don't got it, then it stinks. Uh, hmm. That's the old hardtail Mo restored with Malcolm. I'm not going in there. They all think I killed their beloved leader. That's the bunny. You know you want to. Oh, this way. I can I double click? You just can't get this. Yeah, I can. Man, that's a good looking bike. I do need the bike for this. No. Hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures, and I guess it's all true. And uh, um, I think I put the battery in the thing, distract him, and grab more bunnies. Basically, across that field. <coughs> if, I, if, I, if that's right. And a cheat, too. I'm huh. practically giving this loot away. That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Bunnies. Oops. Right. 
is I gotta try and grab them. Well, I've got. I'll grab the bunnies. I think we're still in an okay place though. There we go. Right. Another bunny. Mm, this is very annoying and very fiddly. Oh, did it? Nice. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. <clears throat> All right, vultures, rack him up. What? What me? Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo, you're making a big mistake. Oh, boy, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey. I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Malcolm wants... I said shut up about my dad. Uh. Let me go or else... Or else what? I'll tear this place apart. Ironic choice of words, Ben. <clears throat> Let me go or else... Or else what? It's one of these. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Ah. Uh -huh. Diaper Dynamo. Diaper Dynamo. How? Where'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? <laughs> okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hard tail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. <laughs> now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No, 
They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. <laughs> when your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. <laughs> 